Get back here. You're not even hidden. Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83 and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I I look through the phone directory. I did find a a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, Uh, come here. uh, Woo! uh, Don't you ever not tell me things I want to know. Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we going to stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're heading to Los Santos then? Soon. I got to make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, I got my big eyes, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause, you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. After the lost have descended on this fine town, looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead, I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to...
here we come. That go okay? I heard like a banging and screaming. Like I got got a guy kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? The house I must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mindfuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mindfuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, Pete. Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker. Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Good play game, then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't, because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Right there, Los Santos, the end of the fucking earth. This is the place. I seen you on the holiday card. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Hmm? It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Well, it ain't around here. What are you doing? Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this Fuji Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a deep pit of doubt. Despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. 
He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes, he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting my cough. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Cast. I seen it on I Find Maps. I'll give you directions. Just keep on a minute. It's a rag up here. Go straight on here. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! It's up here, Trevor. Floyd, it's me, Wade. Uh, who? Me, Wade, your cousin. Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere. Here, he's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy we've never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend? She'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. Okay. All right, okay. Fuck! yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk or you're staring miserably at the clouds or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh yeah, I done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you got to worry about anymore is what part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again? Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah, there you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, hmm? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those 
fake your own deaths to your best buddy and then run off with the dough and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. Good Lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, she, she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it. You guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ. She's a horrible dancer. Michael. Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ. What? Now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go. We go get her. We? Yeah, we. What, are you going to stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now, let's go. Come on. All right. You know, I can probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. <laughs> Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you at all, but you stink like piss. You got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what? A week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped-up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <sighs> yes, sirree. Hurry it up, man! Come on, you dipshit. 
Ah, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that. Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, Two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music! When I came home last night, you wouldn't make love to me. You went fast asleep. Ah. Yeah. You wouldn't even talk to Shake me. Shake what your daddy's gave See, you, honey. I'm so crazy. Mm. Get down. Stop a 20 in this. Fucking you something about this? Uh, I that's enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough! Oh, 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 hey, hey, I got security! Security! What you fucking say? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come here, you little shit! No! Tracy, go home! Come back here! Hold us. We gotta take the truck. There! We take the truck. I got a deposit on that truck! Let's get that trick. Look! He went left! How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dick. Bad. Fucking loud. Oh, I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. We gotta go to the left. Ah, the little fast is going to the train track. We can have a little fun with it. Well, let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? Hey, take a left up here. We can have a little fun with it. Well, let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Right, up there. He's going round to the right. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh! We'll get him! We'll get him! But we're sure taking our time about it. Ah, ah! He's going 
go down into the L.S. River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now, I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus... I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Uh, Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> what the fuck is that? All right. All right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Oh. Come on. Lower. Oh, Lower. No. Come on. Oh. Please don't kill me, okay? Ooh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right. Please, come on, no, get no. off. Take off. Go, now, before I change my mind. Uh, I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Dave, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if the when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well, then we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy, Ferdinand Karamoff. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do.
What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in his wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. You want to end up on the slab? Out! Now! That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. You! Make sure we have an agent down! Dog! Let's go! Trust me! I'm not interested go in the down. truth! Put him down, people! Yes, Carry on with your business! You fucker! Fall back! You're done! You hear me? Hey, I already died once today! Shit him! It's all a big misunderstanding! Get 
cover now. Don't surprise me. Get Just let me go. I don't know what you're doing here, but you won't be doing it much. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there, something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA buildings? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Going on. You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? 
Look, you remember I told you I know people, feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit. Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I... I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin. You'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man, I'm with you. I'm with you. Trevor is a what? Uh, Trevor is a good guy. He cried family and got kid, ain't he, for that, 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 That's it, right, yes, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's going to leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There was Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death. Bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. <sighs> Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just... Put your Johnson away, sir. Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there Put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, T. I really miss it.
Come on then, Floyd. What you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I got like work is kicking a mug. Look, sir, please, just tell me what you want and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether Security Consulting. Private army to the New World Order. My butt's gone The folks up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil. That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. They won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Meriwether guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats. Go park and get the dispatch. Uh, yep, yeah, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. Just about to start. Here comes the suit. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd. This can go real wrong, real quick. Well, he's particularly drunk. We got a waste spillage, and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. All the money you make down here, how it ain't right. Screw him. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever got helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. Oh, they won't let anything you. out of here without Remember clearance. They Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they had the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Merriweather guys at two o'clock. They're giving Forrest a hard time, all right. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now. Up here, okay? I guess I gotta pretend I'm a dock worker if I wanna stay. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous, relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together, stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happier than when he's neck deep in shit. 
It's those containers. Baby! Okay, we got it. Let's take her down to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. You happy? Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Crane! Perfect! Oh, shoot! you have to suck to get this job. Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. There was old friends with the... well, with the... With the... With the say no more. You didn't fellate no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. View. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Get up on this walkway, climb down the ladder, and go into the cabin. Looks like you're in line. That's lined up. Move the spreader down so it can grab the container. She's there! Lock her on! It's hooked up, so lift it high enough to clear that container stack and move it to the other end. Take us to the other end, bay number five. All the way to the end! There's the truck. Set it down gentle. Bring the container down over the truck's frame. Empty head and a gray track. And it will cheerleader trials begin today. And why a local nudist will no longer be serving empanadas. Sports news. They are the best part of sporting events. Hot girls bouncing up and down, reminding us of our failures in life while we look on and numb ourselves with another overpriced beer. Cheerleader trials. Containers locked. Haul that freight. Signal man and crane driver working together. Now let's do the same thing again. Take us back up to the other end. Line up the second red container at the end. Penis. This 
Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. Wow. I mean, this is some view, ain't it? I'm gonna take a couple shots for my boy. Trevor, come on. I can take you over to the warehouse. This rig ain't being used. It's over on the other dock. One of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. <laughs> You know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No. Floyd, it's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best-paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for ten years. Only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, 
Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. The spillage shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. Come through here. It's restricted access. No entiendo. No understand you. Huh? Manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck you think you're going? Hey, 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 got confused. Uh, God don't speak English. Uh, must have just read the manifesto. manifesto. He said, he said, he said, he said, You've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Meriwether. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. The way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah. Of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's got to be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Meriwether at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. Name of all things holy. <laughs> 